Hello everyone, and welcome back to this Lord of the Rings Minecraft mod adventure. I am LeftClick, and we are going into Fongorn Forest at long last. And we already see some Ents! That's pretty fun. So, it I think there's like, maybe six kinds of Ents, technically. And they're divided into three categories. Well, two broad categories. So the first are these Ents, uh, right here. And these Ents are very tall, they have these big bushy beards. And they have a very large branch crown, essentially. These ends have a smaller branch crown, as you can see, over there. I'm gonna talk. Hello, Nutfoot. And what's your name? Quick Blossom. I like their names. Um, okay, so... For each of those, like, large tree crown and small tree crown ends, there are oak, birch, and beech. And I think those are the three kinds of ends. Now you'll notice, when we're in the Misty Mountains, the air is, you know, misty and stuff. But when we go into Fongorn, the air changes. So you'll see, once we go further in a little bit, you'll notice that it's very green and, very, and a little bit misty around the edges. I love that. And look how freaking massive these trees are. It is just absurd. Hold on, let's see how big they are. Uh, let's see, that's one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven blocks wide. Good lord. I was working on porting one of these trees, um, reconstructing brick, uh, block by block one of these trees in a survival, uh, Minecraft vanilla round that I have for the most recent vanilla update, and trying to make it into like a fey house or a fairy house. And man, tr this trunk was wasn't bad, but all the leaves and stuff, I don't know how they're constructed, and so trying to replicate that is very, very difficult. Hey, there's a beach ant. What's up? What's your name? Your name is Skybark. It's rare to see one of your kind come deep into the forest. Yeah, well, oh, hold on. Okay, so see how that tree is bugging into another tree? I believe that means it's a horn, so it will abuse us if we get too close. I think it's an okay horn. I don't think it's an evil horn. I think evil horns are only found in the old forest. But I believe those horns will only attack you if you attack a tree or cut down a tree. I believe that's the case. Fortunately, we have high enough ant alignment right now, high enough fangorn alignment, so that if we cut down a tree, we will lose alignment, but we won't be an enemy, which is very, very important. Because I do not want to be an enemy of the ants, because they are actually very tough to fight. Because they're just tall. They're not as tall as I thought they'd be. I thought they'd be a lot bigger. Because um, I think ants in the book were described to be as tall as trees. Well, not as big as like these massive trees, but... Yeah, they're only like, what, four blocks tall? Something like that? Mm. Alright. Um, while we're in Fangorn, there is going to be a little bit of lag. Because of just the sheer number of trees. And they have like dark oak and oak, beech, birch... Not a lot of spruce. Um, they might have... What is this? Larch or Aspen? Hold on. I keep forgetting. I think this is Larch. I think Aspen has a slightly different trunk. I am very bad. No, it's an Aspen. I'm dumb. God dang it. I need to figure out what I'm doing. Yeah, it's an Aspen tree. You can tell it's an Aspen tree because of the way it is. Wow. Uh, I love I love going to Fungo and just walking around. I want to make, I want to make a base here eventually. I want to make a base everywhere. In that... Uh, Fairfail Village and Gondor. What's your name? Star Blossom. That's a cute name. That's like an anime girl. Star Blossom. Kawaii desu. I don't watch anime. I don't know why I made that joke. Well, I, I watch... I watch a little bit. So, my partner right now, she was basically the queen of the weebs. She was president of our anime club in college. And she... Uh, <laughs> she loves... Uh, Anime as a whole, which goes cons, all that jam. I personally not so much into that, but there are a few series that I enjoyed very heavily. So mainly because of YouTube abridged parodies, that's how I got into Helsing, Helsing Ultimate, which is a show about a vampire that is implied to be Count Dracula, who fights other vampires to protect England from, you know, supernatural threats and stuff. Really interesting show. Um the abridged series is absolutely hilarious. I would check it out if I were you. If you were into that kind of thing. Oh god, maybe we don't want to spend that much time here. The main reason I want to go into Fongorn and spend some time here, although it is lag central, is because I want to find certain plants that you can find in Fongorn. 
and Ent Jars. So, because potions aren't really a thing in this mod, you can brew things, but you can find these. Now this right here is an Ent Jar, and I believe you can just use a pickaxe to mine it. Here we go. Cool. So Ent Jars are jars that fill up through rainfall, or I believe you can maybe use, um, maybe use buckets. I'm not sure. I have some buckets on me, so we can try it out. And what you do is you fill up the Ent Jar, and then you put down a certain type of flower or plant. This is Elf Song. This is one of the few plants that only grows, well, not few. I think there's like seven or eight types of plants that only grow in Fongorn Forest exclusively. And what you do is you basically add one of these plants to a full Ent Jar, and it gives you what's called Ent Draft. And those give you a certain effect, depending on what kind of plant you added. So it's a very natural way of doing it. And if I were to be more sedentary in my lifestyle rather than nomadic, I would definitely have a base in Fangorn that I could just fill up end jars with and have a bunch of these end draft on end drafts on hand. The problem is you can't like fill up a water skin or anything with end draft. I think you have to have a bowl on you. And I don't like having bowls in my inventory. They're just not as useful as water skins or cups or buckets in this case. But what we're going to do is we are going to fill up one of these buckets and try out what I was thinking about the ant jars. I believe you should be able to fill up an ant jar with a bucket. So I'll show you what I mean. Bada bing and bada boom. Okay, so you can fill up with a bucket. And I'm going to add Elf Song by right clicking it. And it becomes ant draft. So I'm going to move that Elf Song out of the way. There are some other plants that we could add. And. I like the particles, the little green particles that's there. That's nice. Um, we're going to make a stone bowl. Uh, not a stone bowl, a wooden bowl. I am dumb. I apologize. So let's make a bowl. And I don't know how many bowls we can fill up. It seems quite a few. Maybe five. So yellow end draft gives us regeneration. Uh, let's actually keep those in our uh, food. Because that would actually be really, really useful to have around. We'll try out different end drafts over time, but for now, I think if you break the end draft, I don't think it refills. Yeah, okay. So if you have an end draft that's partly full or full, and you break the end jar, it's not going to keep. So you want to make sure you use as much of the end draft as you can with bowls before you uh, move on with your life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find other plants because I want to try out all the different end drafts. I want to see how I can, um, if there's any effects other than regeneration. There are. I think there's one for speed. There might be one for just regaining instant health. I'm not entirely sure. There should be one that maybe slows you down because you'd be more like an Ent. I don't think there's one that makes you grow taller. I don't think that's a thing that exists in this mod. It would be cool if the Ent draft made you just like a smidgen taller, which would make you, you know, hard to get through your tunnels. But I think that'd be weird. Okay, Sunfruit. Interesting. Let's go back down and fill up this bucket. Let's fill up both of these buckets, actually. We have a lot of stuff in this inventory, good lord. Okay. Uh, tools and armor. Let's put our saddle in there. Don't think we need any of that stuff right now. All our armor is pretty set. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down the scent jar, fill it up with water, fill that up too, sun fruit. What does this give us, I wonder? Let's find out. Okay, more bowls. It gives us fire resistance. That could be useful, especially if we go to Isengard again and we get pranked by a flaming orc bomb. All right, that's good. Let's keep storing up these end drafts. Just get rid of that. And continue on our way. This is fun. I like collecting plants. I like I'm an herbalist. I like doing that. Uh nature. Do we have room? We don't have room to collect a lot of those plants. I would like some plants just to have as a little memento for us, as we are known for Well, now that I think about it, do we have any dark oak in our orchard of trees? I don't think so. I think we're missing. Uh, dark oak. Let's go get some dark oak because I think that's 
one more plant to add to our menagerie. And we got another plant. Excellent. So we can make an end draft with that once we get some dark oak saplings. And I think we're on top of a dark oak plant now. No, this is a regular oak. Let's get up to a better view. Wow. Look at all the trees. And the ends are a little bit fewer and far between now. Man, I, I love Fongorn. Look at that. Is that a giant beech tree? Man, I, I like the giant beech trees the most. Although the oak trees are very classic, the beech trees, just because they have these golden leaves, oh, they look so pretty, man. I'm just a sucker for trees. I, oh, you all know this. This is definitely just a thing that exists for me, but good lord. All right. Oh, by the way, thank you to uh, Critical Wiki 93 I think that he was someone who commented the trick about instead of waiting for rainfall to clear up your ent jars, you can just use a bucket. I didn't know that was a thing you could do. I'm a little bit of a fool for that. Where the hell is a dark oak uh, tree? I thought this was one here. Am I a fool? I am a fool. Where are the dark oak trees? I would very much like to find one. I wish some of these giant trees were made of dark oak. That'd be pretty cool, I think. Okay, here's a dark oak tree right here. I think the leaves are a little bit shorter. The leaves are basically the same though, aren't they? Like between dark oak and regular oak. I think they're... They might be slightly darker from a distance, but when you're up close like this, I just can't tell. I'm just a dumb boy. Okay, cool. Got those. Let's put those in our nature. Our nature pouch. Excellent. Let's continue... Let's continue forth to try and find some good, good plants. And I believe that's a horn right there. It shouldn't attack me because it's a good boy. Unless I ch cut down a tree or smack an ant, that horn should not attack me. I do not want to deal with it, so I'm not going to bother with, you know, showing you how it attacks because I do not want to be abused. Alright, so let's keep moving. I am going to fill up an ant jar and see what this one gives us. All right. Uh, hello. Did did I not? Oh, I fill. Oh, did I not fill it up? Okay, there we go. Tears of Yavana. It's green. Wow, that's pretty cool. Sorry, the lighting here is a little bit off. Wait, hold on. I was trying to put down the crafting table here, but it seems like that's a horn that I was trying to put that on. No, that's a horn. Are you both horns? Okay. Wow, that's a uh, that's menacing. Tree's just standing there, waiting for you to make mistakes so they can abuse you. Okay, speed, haste, and strength. Good lord, that's so good. I gotta keep you. Speed, haste, and strength. That's very useful to keep around. I mean, fire resistance is kind of situational. Regeneration is always good, but speed, haste, and strength. That's so awesome. All right, Tears of Yavanna, you are great. Might keep some of you around so I can make some ent draft really quickly, except I can't do it outside of Fangorn, which sucks. Fangorn, rather. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Okay. There's a boulder here. All right, that's cool. I'm trying to look for more plants. Man, I, lo I love how Fangorn looks. It's so beautiful. Like, I, I like the greenish haze that's around. I think that really adds to the flavor of it. If it was just, like, this blue fog that you usually see in Minecraft, it would be less mystical or less mysterious. But the fact that you have this greenish haze and you see an outline of this great tree further on, it just seems endless. Like, the greenery of the leaves around you just sublimes all the air. And that the very nature of Fangorn itself is suffusing the entire area. It's, it's very cool. I love, like, the Enchanted Forest thing. That's why I like Lothlorien, too. Is because it feels like the trees themselves are giving. Because I know elves, like, you know, elves are magic. And they have, like, you know, a natural presence to them. And most of their realms are very mystical and stuff. But the fact that the trees themselves give to the environment a lot is really neat. Is that a sheep? Forest sheep. And there's a little boar down there. Hello, baby boar. I, I crouch at you. Okay, there's another river. 
I wonder if Fongorn's rivers have any effect. I don't think they do if you swim in them. I know that Mirkwood does because it's supposed to make you asleep. I think, you know, we all know that Mordor's rivers suck. And hey, okay, this is a weird, interesting kind of moss, and I believe this is a Fongorn plant. Okay, no effect so far. I'm doing that. River weed. All right, let's find out. Maybe it gives us water breathing? That's my prediction, at least. Let's fill up our two buckets while we're here. Let's see. If it gives us water breathing, I'll be very happy. Because that could be useful if we're going into the sea or something. Okay. What you got? Water breathing! That's what I thought. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. On nature, no. Food. Here we go. Glad we. I'm glad we don't have a lot of food, because then we have a lot of room for end drafts. Wonderful. Okay. Take our end jar. Take our crafting table. And let us be on our way to keep finding them. I think that there's one, I think Horn Leaf is a name that I remember. And I think we actually passed them when we first entered, but I didn't really pay them much heed because I remember somewhat that Horn Leaf was very, had like a very common effect that wasn't really that good. So I didn't really pay it much heed. But then I remembered, wait, I have to showcase this mod and therefore I should probably do everything. So time to find some Horn Leaf. And then after that, I think we should dip, because I think that's all the plants. I think it's Tears of Yavanna, Elf Song, Horn Leaf, Sun Fruit. I remember this water plant, the uh, river weed. And I think that's it. I don't think there's any more. I'll have to double check, maybe on the wiki. But if, if I'm missing any, let me know. And see if we want to come back here to uh, make some end traps with them and see what effects they have. We might get rid of some of our bowls. Uh, we might get rid of... Uh, some of the fire breathing ones, some of the water breathing ones to make room for more. Because we those are very situational, so I don't think we need four of them. At least that's my opinion. Oh god, it's taking forever. Wait, are those pumpkins? They are. It's it's interesting it's interesting how uh pumpkins in every version of Minecraft up to like 116 or 115 by default had these faces. You didn't have to use shears to carve a jack o' lantern face into it. Or to make a carved pumpkin. You could just go on your own. And just make a jack o' lantern easy peasy without having to have iron. Okay, let's see. I wish you could use an axe to carve pumpkins, but I think you have to use shears, which is really weird. Uh, hmm. I don't see any... Well, I don't obviously see any horn leaf because there's tree canopies everywhere. Uh, there's a horn right there that I see because its leaves are very bright. Um... Let's let's go up to the top of this uh, ridge. See if we can find anything interesting. Up oh, there we go. I want to be careful with jumping up and down uh, leaves like this because if it's a horn, I'll fall right through. And if you're doing a lot of treetop navigation, especially like for example, if I wanted to go back to the old forest and use the tops of trees to run around, I would have to be very very careful to check every leaf that I'm about to jump up just in case it is a horn in disguise as that will absolutely prank me let's go up here all right we're going our way okay hopefully ah oh, god dang it hopefully there's some horn leaves around here let's get rid of that leaf that was bugging us all right let's go to the top of this ridge hop here we are wow Look at that sunset. That's I I love Fongorn so much. It's screenshot material. Hold on, what's the screenshot button? Is it F11? Nope, that's to make a full screen. I'm dumb. <laughs> oh man, I'll figure out screenshot button soon enough. Maybe it's maybe it's F4. Hold on. Oh, there's Gully Dream Wander nearby. F4, F2, F2. There we go. Let's go find the Gully Dream Wanderer. I want to buy things. I don't have that much coin though. Do I? Hold on. How much coin do I have? Never mind! I have a, quite a bit of coin. I have 17, 1700. Let's look around. I don't see them. Normally you would, because I don't think that the... Because if I can see the horns over there, that means that entities will spawn that far, which means I should be able to see what the Gala Dream Wanderer from this far away. So maybe they're further east. Oh well. We'll probably never find them. And I'm very surprised that Galadrim Wanderers spawn in Fangorn. 
I guess it is a neighboring biome somewhat. It's like very close, and I think that the the elves probably have a good relationship with the Ents, although I think the Ents really keep to themselves. Oh, there's more Elf Song over there. I like how Elf Song looks, but it's not that important to us. We only have three coal. I should probably... Oh, jeez. Probably grab a little bit more while we're here. Excellent. Man. Let's grab that. There we go. Okay, let's find the Galadry Wanderer. I don't think we're going to. I think that's just going to be a mystery for another day. By that, I mean never. Okay. There's this valley over here with a bunch of trees. This elf song. Hmm. No horn leaves. Interesting. And also, something else I like about Fongorn. No evil people spawn here. I think that the edges of Fongorn, which are down here, the Fongorn wasteland, people can spawn in. Uh, evil people like Urukai and stuff. But I don't think they can spawn in the Fongorn interior. And speaking of the Fongorn interior and the Fongorn wasteland, what I want to do is how about we head south to the Fongorn Wasteland and beat up some Urukai. And maybe since we're in the Fongorn Wasteland, there might be some Ents that are close by that border that might help us out with that. Oh, and even better, look at that. We found some Horn Leaves. Good, uh, let's see what effect this gives. Uh, could you get in my inventory? Thank you. Open the jar, Horn Leaf. Time to make ourselves a bull that was foolish golden entra doesn't do anything hold on a hold on a fuck damn minute does it do anything hold on let me look at myself when i drink it invigoration that sucks hold on I'll be right back. I'm going to see what it does. Give me a second. I'm going to go to the wiki real quick and figure out what this is even about. Horn leaf. Here we go. Okay, this is interesting. So, when you have a golden end draft, what you do is you take a sapling like this. You right-click it with the golden end draft. Okay, so I need higher fine gold. So what you can do is if you have the golden end draft, you right-click a sapling and it becomes a horn, just like this. It becomes a horn that you can use and you can summon it by drinking the Ent Draft to help you. It's kind of like Fongorn's way of hiring units, except much less direct. That is fascinating. That's really cool. Wow. Well, at least we know how to hire units from Fongorn. We are going to need 500 alignment, though, which I guess makes sense. You have to be really nice in order to, you know, hire horns to your service. You have to be really in touch with nature. Be like Tom Bombadil up in here. But I think that... Maybe if we really... Uh, is there a way to farm Fongorn Experience? Because I don't think... Uh, Fongorn Alignment? Because I think Ents, you can't do quests for them. I don't think so, at least. So all you need to do is just kill so many Urukai to gain 500 Alignment. That's very much where Fongorn would not be a great faction to have. Because although Ents are really cool, you can't have them fight for you. You can probably summon Horns, though. But... Maybe if I really want to be like a nature boy, maybe in another playthrough that I do in my spare time, just by myself, I can, um... So, sometimes what I do with the Lord of the Rings mod is I also play it with witchery, so I can do the witchery magic system in this mod. Uh, not in this mod, but in the world, because I think that that adds another layer of magic to Tokian's world, because Tokian's world, the magic in it is very undefined, it's very loose. Where magic is a thing, but calling it magic is less accurate than calling it, let's say, the energies of Arda. Where there's things about the elves that make them immortal, there is the magic that Gandalf can do, and there's the dark magic that um, Morgul blades have. 
uh, the blade that the witch can come out. And there's the necromantic magic. But it's very undefined. It's very loose. You can't, like, learn how to summon the dead. It's like a certain kind of magic. It's like divine magic. It's like the magic that Jesus would do to do miracles is kind of like that, the way I think of it. Because Jesus didn't, like, in the Bible, he doesn't cast a spell or anything. He just has this natural ability or proclivity to say, all right, you're healed, or all right, this water is wine now, or something like that. It's a very soft kind of magic. And this is a conversation that happens in literary circles of hard versus soft magic and how they would be defined. Are you elderberries? You are. Okay, I don't need you. Um, so Lord of the Rings has very, very soft magic where it doesn't have any really predefined rules or any particular way that's codified. It's a very thing where magic just shows up and is used by magic users. It's, it's a very interesting system, and that's why I like Tolkien a lot. And although I play games and um, read literature that has very hard magic systems, I like the way that Tolkien does it because it makes it very unknowable and very mysterious. It makes the magic very... It makes you feel like magic is something very special and powerful instead of something that anyone could just pick up, you know? And I think that's something that's not really used that much in literature anymore. Anyway, um, I think it's about time to close out this episode. We're going to keep heading south to the Uruk Highlands. Well, not the Uruk Highlands, to the Fangorn Wasteland. Help out cements. And um, I'm glad we went on this adventure in Fangorn. I love this biome. I love being around here. And I will um, see you all next time. Don't listen to Noldor propaganda. The Kinslang was not justified. <laughs>